Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com and I've got another developer diary for you today for Chunky Orbits. I just posted the fourth beta version onto Early Access on Steam. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of the new, the new stuff. So most of the new stuff has to do with the new menu system. Oops, where am I out here? Um, if you've been watching these videos or playing the sim, you know I've uh, got the menu system over here on the uh, radio, like a radio menu. And uh, I really like it and it's easy to use and quick to use uh, once you get used to it and learn how it works. But it's not very intuitive and it's a little harder for people to get in and get going on the sim. So I wanted to make something a little more intuitive and something that maybe was a little more, you know, VR, a little more, uh, a little it takes better advantage of the track controller. So, what we have now are uh, two menus: one on the right hand, one on the left hand, and you access them just with the menu buttons on your Vive controllers or the A and the X buttons on the on the touch. You can also hold down the menu button to reposition the icons. And then when you let go, they freeze in space. And to select something, you just poke at it. Now this is a much more kind of physical, kind of obvious way to select something in VR. And I think they're, they're, they're working pretty well. Um, so the right hand is all of the objects you can add to the sim. Left hand is kind of your reboot menu. You can clear everything out or start off with a new collection of random rocks. Or you can, uh, here's a little miniature solar system. And uh, this is a little different than the last version. All these orbits are now randomized, so they're a little different every time with the three bodies. And then there's this. A uh, sparkly comet that comes sailing through in a kind of a tight elliptical orbit. And it's surprising to me how much this this object is uh, has uh, very little mass compared to these other objects, but it still can affect their their orbits quite a bit when it comes in and gets close to them. So it's actually interesting to see how the different starting orbits will end up. And there's also a new um, reboot mode, this asteroid mode, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, it starts off with about 150 of these absorber rocks, and they're all kind of orbiting and uh, jostling for position. And then, since they're absorbers, they start um, absorbing the other rocks and getting bigger and bigger, and you'll end up with um, just a few larger bodies in kind of uh, erratic orbits. I kind of fudged the physics on this one. Um, you know, there's nothing like a real absorber in in real life. Um, and I wanted to kind of keep this ring of planets going so when they do collide with each other, um, I just kind of reduce the momentum on the biggest rock a little bit to kind of keep it in, in the same general orbital range. And it seems to work all right. This one is really fun. I, this, uh, I love just seeing all of these things going at once. It's really kind of visually pleasing and it's fun to see what comes out of all that chaos. Uh, eventually there'll be a few more things to spawn here at the beginning, in, including a chaos mode which will basically just spawn a bunch of random objects with random velocities and, uh, and uh, just kind of stir the pot that way. And I think that should bring about some pretty interesting scenarios that maybe you wouldn't think of to create yourself. Um, I also like how um, the help text is now hidden until you bring up the menus, uh, which gives everything a nice clean look and provides help when you need it, not just all the time. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's also another one new object I call the Molten Chunk. 
Uh, it's basically a fireball. <laughs> because, I mean, you've got to have more particles, more explosions. And uh, it basically, it, it works similar to the uh, photon torpedo when it hits something and it explodes. But unlike the photon torpedo, it is uh, affected by gravity. So you can also get these into orbit and they'll affect all the rocks in the sim. I'm real happy with the particle effects on this one too. The fire and the smoke and the, the molten -y molten part. <laughs> Took me a lot of tweaking to get those down. The particle system in Unity is really cool. It just takes a lot of tweaking and experimenting to get the effect that you're after. Um, uh, let's see what else is new. I think that's all the new items, the menu. Oh, um, I guess the other big change is I kind of optimized the simulation, the main loop that calculates all the gravity forces, and uh, clean that up, um, got rid of anything that was causing garbage collection, which could cause little hiccups in the smooth frame rates, and um, also smoothed it out over each individual frame so it's not doing so much on every frame and as a result the simulation that loop is running twice as fast as it was so I can get uh, 300 rocks going at once on my machine before it starts bogging down although you wouldn't want to put out 300 fireballs <laughs> there's, there's a lot of particles and stuff going on in there but I'm real happy with uh, how that optimization went. And I don't think I broke anything. Last time I optimized it, I broke the gravity calculation and it wasn't working right. But uh, now I'm pretty sure it's still right. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all the new stuff. It, it's, it's going well. I really like this early access um, um, process. I'm getting some good feedback. And uh, it's really been a good learning experience converting that. Um, gamepad based version of the sim to the touch controllers so yeah that's pretty much everything new in the beta 4 I think uh, for the next beta I'm going to be working on um, some visual indicators on the controllers as to what and where the new objects are going to spawn in relation to your controller and where that action point is for grabbing objects and right now you just kind of have to guess where it is um, I'd like to add a little more juice to the new menus, make them a little more visually interesting and um, maybe some little animations while you're selecting them. But other than that, we're getting close to having the, the touch version done. I'll be adding in the music eventually and uh, a new tutorial for the touch version. So um, if you've got any suggestions for things you'd like to see in the sim now is a good time to get them in because I'm probably going to be only working on this for a few more weeks before I move on to Xenoform. And uh, I did just post last week the new version of Crash Lander 3.0, uh, which is pretty cool. Got some cool new levels in there and uh, a new menu system, all kinds of new stuff, especially if you haven't been following the betas over the last year or so. So check that out. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you next time. See you later. Bye.